As a continuation of our topic from last week, we will be looking at the semiconductor industry today. The semiconductor industry has been semi-constrained from 2020 to 2022. However, analysis noted that the semiconductors are finally catching up with GDP for 2024. Does this mean good news for the industry? Hi, I'm Jean, a researcher at The Expert. Let's dive right in. The semiconductor industry is a cyclical one, and it can be caused by major factors like GDP. There is a significant correlation between GDP and the semiconductor cycle. As per analyst CJ Mu's analysis, the current semiconductor revenue figures are trailing below the GDP trendline. This dip serves as a clear signal of ongoing inventory digestion within the industry, setting the stage for a compelling resurgence in 2024. As a reference, let's take a look at the Philadelphia Semiconductor Index SOX. Since bottoming on October 13, 2022, the SOX has surged by approximately 95%. However, while the market experienced this significant increase, the fundamentals of the semiconductor industry didn't bottom up until the second quarter of 2023. As of now, the industry is only three quarters into an upturn, which is notably shorter than the typical nine-quarter upturn observed over the past seven cycles. Given the market's tendency to anticipate two quarters ahead, this hints at another strong year for semiconductor stocks in 2024 potentially prompting investors to consider exit strategies by late 2024 or early 2025. However, this outlook offers only a general perspective on the semiconductor industry's long-term trajectory. With the latest earnings report, the current situation seems more moderate. Let's first assess the underperforming companies. Texas Instruments Inc. kicked off semiconductor stocks Q4 earnings on January 23rd, reporting results and guidance below expectations attributed to weaknesses in the industrial and automotive sectors. Similarly, Intel Corp adjusted its outlook on January 25th, citing challenges including inventory correction in Mobile Eye Global Inc., field programmable gate arrays and 5G, along with underperformance in PCs and data centers. ST Microelectronics and V and Tesla Inc. also noted broader softening in the industrial sector and a slowdown in EV growth, respectively. Providing further insight into the industry's landscape, moving to the top performers, ASML rebounded strongly in Q4 after a lackluster in 2023, with a 12.5% increase in sales driven by shipments to Intel and strong demand from China. Despite a slight stock decline, AMD's Q4 earnings met projections, with CEO Lisa Su expressing optimism about growth fueled by Instinct GPUs, EPYC CPUs, and Ryzen processors. Skyworks Solutions also exceeded expectations, showing effective capital management and indicating a potential Android smartphone market recovery. Overall, there are promising prospects for long-term growth in edge-connected IoT, automotive electrification, advanced safety systems, and AI-driven workloads driving cloud and data center upgrades. Generative AI represents a significant platform shift, surpassing past tech cycles like PC, mobile, and internet. NVIDIA is positioned as the AI platform, providing both hardware and comprehensive software stack capabilities for this transformative investment cycle. With NVIDIA's move to an annual technology cycle and its track record of competitiveness, we expect it to maintain its leading position. The hardware landscape is pivotal, with NVIDIA leading, AMD emerging as a secondary player, and companies exploring in-house application-specific integrated circuit, also known as ASIC, development. DRAM, particularly with high bandwidth memory, driving increased demand, will remain prominent. While SK Hynix has an early advantage, we anticipate Micron gaining traction in 2024 to 2025 due to its technological prowess. Moreover, the Department of Commerce is poised to distribute grants under the CHIPS Act in 2024, potentially benefiting major players like Intel, TSMC, Samsung, Micron, Global Foundries, and Texas Instruments. Unlike prior cycles, the semiconductor industry from 2020 to 2023 witnessed unprecedented challenges, including shortages, extended lead times, and fluctuating growth rates across different subsegments. This led to varied fundamental environment for each subsector. 
companies facing shortages and prolonged lead times experienced multiple compression, while those nearing a trial saw multiples expand. It's crucial for investors to monitor the position of each subsegment within its cycle alongside the overall industry cycle. Phew, that was a lot of information to consume. I hope this video helps you understand semiconductors better if you're planning to invest or trade in the industry. As always, happy trading and see you in the next one.